Hello, hello, ladies. Welcome to our Thursday live. If you are catching me, I would love to know if you are here. So please comment below. I'm sorry, I'm moving around a lot. I feel like the angle is not quite right. So bear with me a second. Um, if you're here live, let me know you're here while I'm setting up my little camera situation here. I'm excited because tonight we are talking about a couple things. We're going to first talk about Ruby Sparkle Lipstick, and that is new limited edition. I showed you um, in my videos and stories last week. And then we're gonna also talk about the new matte lip lacquer kits that you can get three looks out of. So if you're here, let me know you're here. And I'm gonna start, this will be a, a fairly short video. I hope you're all having a good day today. And the weather here in Maryland is just absolutely gorgeous. So, hey Cheryl. It was such a beautiful day today. It was so nice to be outside. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to show you Ruby Sparkle Lipstick. And let me, can I just tell you how gorgeous this lipstick is? Let me show you how pretty. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous this lipstick is. So there is two Sparkle Lipsticks. If you receive the Fall Lookbook, there are two of Sparkle Lipsticks. The Sunstone is sold out. So I still have the Ruby Sparkle available. So if you were interested in this lipstick, I can't get any more. They're sold out of the company and I buy a lot of product <laughs> and um, they've just been really popular. So I'm so bummed, but when they're limited edition, it's until they're gone. And so this is the only one I have left in the new fall colors and you can see how gorgeous it is. But let me show you how pretty this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and first just apply it and then I'm gonna put lip liner on second. You can put lip liner on first if you want. You don't can skip lip liner if you want as well. Um, but typically speaking, you always wanna start your lip products with the Mary Kay Lip Primer. And this is clear and it helps lock in the lip color, keeps it on all day, keeps it um, almost like grabs onto it like a lip stain, but it also smooths out your lips also helps with fine lines and aging we get around our mouth here. So I always tell women you can put it around just on the outskirts of your lips too. And of course, the week I'm doing a lip video, <laughs> I have my pimple issue right there. And you know, this is a really good uh, example. Um, they, I don't know if you know this, but you're not supposed to ever pick <laughs> anything around your mouth area. Um, because this happens. It doesn't matter how small it is or how little you do, it always exasperates into like this big ordeal. And I touched it and now it's a big ordeal. So I'm sure you'll see it when I take all my makeup off a little bit, but um, it's okay. Just a great tip on what not to do. Ruby Sparkle. I'm gonna apply this first and show you. I'm just gonna use the tube itself. And I'll show you what it looks like and why I like it so much. So, let me try to do a, a decent job applying it while talking. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this lipstick is one of my favorites because it's not a bright red. So it's just this really gorgeous ruby color. Kind of reminds me of ruby slippers. But look at how pretty the sparkles are. But what's cool about this is that you would think with all that sparkle on the outside that you would have like chunks of sparkle on your lips and you just don't. So I love that this lipstick by itself is, I have seen this on all skin tones. I've seen it on bronze to really fair. It just really pretty on everybody. And with every lipstick you do you use, you can always use from the tube or you can always use a lip brush. And if you use a lip brush, it goes on a little bit less pigmented. So if you want a softer look out of your lipstick, you can try applying it that way. Um, I'm gonna apply medium nude lip liner, just for, a, it's a neutral lip liner. And just to kind of give you some more shape. What's nice about having a nude lip liner is that you can use it with pretty much everything. So, you know, you, I like things that you can just grab and go where you don't have to have like a separate lip liner for every lipstick. Of course, there's a time and place for that. If you wanna make this more berry, more pull the berry out more, um, you could use the berry lip liner. If you wanna make it redder, you can use the red lip liner. And of course, you can use the medium nude lip liner um, like I did. 
So liner will help just give your lips more shape, more dimension. You can also put lip liner on first and then fill your lips in with the lip liner is another tip and then put lipstick over it. It will need to be another layer of help keeping the color on. But these are really soft and moisturizing. They do tend to be long wearing. I've been hearing from you, all of you that have purchased this already, how pretty um, and how long wearing they, it is. It's really soft and smooth on your lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. But what I love is that there's no like glitter chunks. You would think you would feel like glitter on your lips. You don't feel anything. So that, that, that completely just gives it this iridescent shimmer. You can wear it like this. You can even wear it with lip gloss over top, but it's beautiful by itself. You can use the uh, Berry Delight lip gloss. Fancy Nancy looks pretty over this. Um, I mean, really a lot of the lip glosses, the neutral colors all look good. You can just play with it, which was kind of fun that you can play with a lip color and get different looks out of it. So you can just get one lipstick, new lipstick for the season and then play with different glosses and have fun with it. So this is Ruby and these are, this is the only one that's available right now. Um, and that is this in the fall catalog. So I still have those and they are 20. So if you want one, just direct message me or comment below and I will make sure I get it to you or save it for you. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you the new ones that just came out. So some of you would have received the fall, the holiday lookbook. It looks like this. Um, and if you look in the holiday lookbook, if you don't have it, it's okay. Um, you can go to my website and you can see more on my website. These just released a couple days ago. I'm gonna try taking this color off. The sparkles like to grab onto your lips. Um, and I'm just gonna take it off with the micellar water. I might, the micellar water, is a great product to have in your possession when you're trying to take off, you know, some of your makeup, but you don't want to take off all of your makeup. So if you're like changing lipstick colors like me, it takes off the, the lipstick. I'm being gentle because this was bleeding earlier. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So there we go. I got it off for the most part. Now I want to show you the two new lip colors. These are lip kits. So, these are really cool. Let me show you what they look like. They come in a cute little box like this, and they are matte and shine lip sets. So let me show you what they come with. There's two shades. The shades are called Rose Pink, okay, and Cinnamon. This one's called Cinnamon. And they both come as a set. So they come as a set. So you get the lip, and then you get the lip oil. So what I love about these are that you have three in one look. So you get one set or two sets and you can get multiple looks out of it. Um, they are not sold separately. So they have they come together. I don't have a way to get them individually. So I'm gonna show you the cinnamon first because it's the little bit more neutral color out of the two. Um, and what I like about, actually let me show you the oil first because that's one of the looks. So you could take the oil and you could just put your oil on bare lips. It comes with a little squeeze out tube. A little bit goes a long way and you can just apply it for a high shine, very moisturized lips. So that's one look. And I love that this oil feels so good. It's not greasy. It feels um, very moisturizing. There's no flavor or smell to it. It's just really, really um, hydrating and moisturizing to the lips. And I love that it gives this beautiful shine. So if you are a no natural girl, you'll love this for sure. I'm just gonna take the oil off. So this is look number one with the three-in-one uh, lip lux. I'm gonna take this off. My lips are gonna be really rubbed down tonight. <laughs> it's always hard. Now I know how all you guys feel when you're over here trying on lipsticks and we're wiping, wiping, wiping. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put the cinnamon on first and it has a little wand. Looks like a, like a lip gloss wand almost, but it's a little bit, it's more liquidy. So it's a liquid matte, like lip lacquer almost. Now these are gonna be hard for me to talk and do. Let me put this on. I like this color a lot. I wear, I've been wearing this one. Okay, so. I'm not putting liner on with it just because I'm taking it off in a few minutes anyway, but the medium nude or the light nude liner would be perfect. Okay. So with these, accuracy is, is good because uh, they really grab onto your skin. What I mean by that 
is it goes on, it dries matte. So it almost feels like a lip stain. I guess that's a good way to make it describe it. It's it goes on more liquidy and it, it just feels smooth on my lips. It doesn't feel like creamy like a lipstick would because it's almost like it's, uh, it's well, it's matte, first of all. So it's just kind of like there, which I like. And those of you who've already tried these have been telling me that they've been lasting all day long. So that's always a bonus, right? And I have found that personally, uh, anything matte that tends to grab on a little bit better to your lips. So if you're somebody who wants longer wearing lipsticks, going for a matte or a semi-matte lipstick is always gonna help you. And then having your lip primers underneath because moisture makes things move. So kind of think about it like that. Now, I'm gonna put the lip oil. So this is look number two just by itself. It looks really pretty. I love this color. This is a really pretty color. Uh, at first I was like, oh no, but once I put it on, um, I really liked it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. A little bit goes such a long way. I'm just gonna show you, it kind of squeezes up like this. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna put a little in the center and I'll use my finger. Just cause I don't wanna get it all over my, my tube. So I'm using the other color next. So here's look number three with the lip oil. So it gives a really high shine, moisturized high shine look. So that's the look number three with the lip kits. So you can do just the oil, just the semi-matte, I'm sorry, the matte lip, lip lacquer. And then you can also do both together for a really beautiful shine. They're, it feels really great too. So now what I'm gonna do is take the cinnamon off and I'm gonna show you the pink, the pink, the rose pink is what it's called. I've been wearing the rose pink a lot too. I like pinks on me. Um, I like this as more of a natural color because it has a little bit more pigment to it than just like a nude. It has more brown to it. And if you wear lip liner under it, it's gonna change the tone a little bit. So if you wear like your medium nude or light nude, it's gonna also bring out more brown, I think. At least it does on me. So lipsticks look different on everybody. It's so funny, you can never just take a lipstick and say, oh, I like the way it looks on her and I'm gonna buy it for me because it just, everybody's lip color pigments are different. So, you know, like I might have more red in my lips than you do, or you might have more, um, less color to your lips. And so it just depends on how things pull the colors on each of your lips. So that's why, you know, if you have a friend that you buy their lipstick color, it will look different on you oftentimes. So you have to try them on. So if you wanna come over and try lipsticks, direct message me. I have lots of lipstick samples and we can sit here and do what I'm doing and we can try lip colors on so you can test them out. So now we're gonna try the rose pink uh, matte, let me see what it's called, matte li liquid, it's called matte liquid lipstick. It's a lot of tongue tying words. I'm gonna take a little bit off the wand just so I'm not overdoing it. Like I said, it is more liquidy. So I'm just gonna apply this one to show you. I like having more control. So less is more, you can always add more. Also, when you use a brush like this, when you put on lipstick, um, whether it's this type of lipstick or um, like the Ruby or any other of your lipsticks, I mentioned earlier that the lipstick, <laughs> it's really hard to talk and do this. The lipstick will go on thinner, therefore more light comes through. So you'll get truer color that you want and you can change the color because for example, if you put a color on at the tube, it's gonna show up darker. And maybe you don't want it so dark. I'm doing a terrible job at talking and doing this. So if you do a layer, a thinner layer first, and then go back over it, you can control the pigment and the depth. Okay. Hopefully, I did not make a big mess. <laughs> it's so hard to talk and do this. Okay, here we go. Here is the rose pink. I like this one. I like pink. I like bold colors. I think this is really pretty. So um, this is really pretty. And you know what I noticed about this one? It doesn't look that bold in the tube, but on, it looks pretty true to the exact color. A lot of times you put a bold lipstick on and it looks completely different. 
This one looks true exactly like it looks on the tube on. And with this one, you can play with it. You could even do like a red lip liner. It's gonna pull more red. You could do the nude lip liner. You could do no lip liner. So here is look number two by itself, the new rose pink. And then I'll go ahead and put some of the oil on top and show you what this looks like with the oil. And you can get an idea. So these lip kits that I'm talking about, if you're just joining us live, are new. And they are 28 for the kit. And they come with the lipstick and they come with the, the liquid lipstick and they come with the lip oil set. So that's how they come like a set together. So you can get either this color, the cinnamon, or this color in the rose pink. Okay, and that's the rose pink I have on. I like this one. I think I look better in brighter colors. But so many of you like the neutral colors. So... I had to show you both, of course. So there is the three in one lip looks, 28 for the kits. If you'd like these, these are also limited edition. So they will, they're here till they're here or until they're gone. Just direct message me, I have them available. I can get them to you. Um, and I know I'm so bummed about the Sunstone lipstick being gone. That one was so pretty too. But I have the Ruby, so I had the lip kits and I have the Ruby. And the Ruby has been the most popular one, so that's probably why I bought so many of them, to make sure I had them for you. So the Rubies are 20, and the Lip Kits are 28. So if you like any of these, just direct message me or comment below. And of course, if you have any questions, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and just ask the questions if, any, if you would like any samples of anything, or you'd like to come over and get a makeover. I would love to see you. I am doing a model makeover contest right now. So some of you I've talked to about this and um, we can do a virtual makeover or we can do an in-person makeover or even skin. You can pick whichever you want and you'll be entered to win my giveaway. And so my giveaway right now is $100 in products, a Burberry inspired scarf. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Q-U-A-Y, Quay or K. They're Australian sunglasses that are really popular. Um, so that is what I'm giving away at the end of October. So if you, we have a full month. Hey, Joni. Uh, we have a full month to, to still get you in, into the giveaway if you're interested. I would love to see you. And if you are at a distance and you like to do a makeover virtually, um, we can do that too. So have a great night, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me live. If you have any questions, comment below.